Good morning, bright and early. It was freezing last night, layer upon layer and still very cold. I had to wake up, go to the bathroom the other night, thought I saw a bear. I did, I thought I saw a bear, but it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. So beginning our day out here on the Pacific once again, and the waves are wild. I don't know how those people are sitting out there on the beach some kids are going swimming. It's freezing out there with the wind. The wind is ferocious. President Thomas Jefferson wanted to set up a system of fur trading and so he got Lewis and Clark, the American explorers, to set out and find a better way to kind of get that channel flowing. And they stumbled here on the beach in November 11th, 1805. And then they were able to set up a channel uh, by land and by sea of fur trading. And then they established Astoria in 1811, just down the way, which was the first sort of trading post up and down the coast. And then the money just kept rolling in. There is this discovery trail all around the peninsula. And people are biking it, walking it, but it's paved. And then there's a few unpaved hikes as well to go on, but this discovery trail paved the whole entire way. It's the discovery trail. This lighthouse up here was put in 1856 watching the entrance of the Columbia River Gorge and it's still operational. And the Coast Guard is up there as well keeping an eye on all the ships because of how unpredictable this uh, whole area of the coastal Pacific is. That will stretch the Columbia River Bar. It's incredibly complicated. There's four different areas, all in which land sort of deepens or it gets shallow or there's different tides. And the Coast Guard has to keep a real close eye on ships. And a lot of the tankers that are going through are accompanied sometimes by the military, by the US Marines as well. of Iwako has a weekend market. We managed to come down and see it and we also managed to grab a few crab cakes while we're at it. Cause hey, when you're on the coast, you need your crab cakes. The crab cakes were good. They're really fried, but there's a lot of crab in them. They're $15 American just for two crab cakes. I mean, again, they're fresh, they're straight from here, but left you with a sick feeling because they're really fried. Oh well, when in Rome, right? Or when in Iwako. <laughs> Just found a quaint little coffee shop, but there's no one in here. Everyone's outside enjoying the sun. 
I think we should get to it too. We hopped in the car and drove down the peninsula about 20 minutes to a little town called Oysterville, right on the beach. It feels like the end of the earth. Because you can't see 100 feet in front of you. There's this mist coming up off the, the water. It's so magical out here. This is the end of the peninsula right here. We got to the end of the peninsula. Lead better point. And there's a trail here that's about three miles going to both sides of the peninsula. Ocean, ocean. And we were just talking to a couple of guys that just got back and they said they saw a cub whimpering and a couple snarls in the woods and they didn't want to stick around to see what that was so hopefully that bear is long gone. There's nothing out here and it's just this barren marshland I guess just for miles. It looks incredible. It's so peaceful here too. Just birds and marshland and us. The other side of the peninsula where the ocean is roaring not like where we just were this is beautiful there is absolutely no one out here on this beach it is just amazing. It is just us, the ocean, and a lot of dead crabs. We are the only ones in this parking lot. See, I told you, we were the only ones on that beautiful trail. I can't believe all the other people are still just lounging back at the beaches or the ice cream shops. I don't even know. Holy mosquitoes. Time to go. It's 6.30. Dinner time. Mm -hmm. 